Hi, this is Juanita. Hi, this is David. And we're here in our greenhouse in our backyard. We're going to talk to you today about hornworms because we just found some. That, those green things. Little green things here. You see them and you can see the little tiny black horn on their heads. Oh, yeah. I don't know oh, where wow. these guys came from, but look at them. Here just one day, there's one, two, three, four, there's five of them here. Oh my gosh. Now, these guys get to be really, really large. I've seen them up to an inch long, and, and so the way to kill them is you can squeeze them. They're going to hurt you. Just, just squeeze Ew. them. Put them into your there's pot. One, one. Squeeze them, put them in your pot, and you know, organic food for the oh. plants. What about that? Is that still alive or did yeah, you kill he's it? Dead. Oh. Yeah, this plant was looking halfway decent. They just destroyed here. In so just what? A few they, oh, there's another one. They, they hide. They, they blend in so well. Oh hard to my see. gosh! So this was a tomato. It was a tomato. What about down here? Oh, that's a tomato I cut off. It's actually growing. I was surprised. Wow. Wow, that's pretty disgusting. Look, it stripped all the leaves off of this tomato plant. That's just sick. You don't see any on my miniatures, do you? That's a tomato hornworm, that might be. Oh, it's a tomato hornworm. So David's watering some other tomatoes that we have back there. You don't see any over there, do you? I haven't looked yet. They look good there. Wow, that was really disgusting. We're just way past tomato season, but we're just playing, experimenting. Actually, I've been trying to transplant some some small plants over here. I don't know if they'll work or not. Oh, oh no, there's one on the pepper plants. Where? Can you touch it so I can see it? I just don't know where to focus. Right there. I've never seen them on pepper plants. Look at all the holes in that leaf that he's been doing, too. that pepper plant. Wow. Very destructive little pieces of crap. So, what's the best way to keep hornworms off of your plants? I don't know. I have to read about it. <laughs> Pick them with your fingers. No, but what's the best way to repel them? So here's one hiding right here. Oh, where? Right there. I don't see it. Can you? Right there. To the right of my thumb. Then there's another one right here. Wow, where, how did they get in here? No, it's not. No, it's not. All right, now one way you can tell sometimes if you got bug problems, you see a little black. Like these little black pieces of stuff hanging around. Oh, there. is that eggs? I think it's their poop. Oh, it's their poop. Like, see, see this black. Oh, right here? yeah, there's a and lot. If you look up, there's one. There's one hanging on there. There's two, three of them. Ah, oh, look at that. More of them. Ah. Oh. And we just didn't have these yesterday. No, I know. Then I saw another one here. You have to kind of look carefully. They can't run and get away from this. They can do a lot of damage here quickly. As you can see. You know, we better go check the garden uh, greenhouse. Yeah, we better do that. Here's our helper, Lucy. She just licked me. That's how I knew she was out here. Back to the horn round. I'll, I'll put some safer soap pictures. on this, which is organic insecticide, and see what happens. Safer soap? Well, it's called safer soap. Oh, more tomato plants. Yeah. Well, you see, see the black over here? Oh, no. So, are, so they're here somewhere. Yeah, and look at the leaves all eaten, too. Yeah. Of course, they could be gone by now. They could have eaten some of those other areas. There's some more. Look. There's some on that one, too. Oh, man. Oh, 
So see, it's important to inspect your plants. Don't just plant them and leave them out there. Oh yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff. You know, this might be actual eggs right here. Oh, that's what I was thinking. No, that's actual dead bug. Oh. Well, here, let me water my transplants and then we'll go inspect the greenhouse. I don't even know if this will work. A little bit of rosemary. It's such a hot day here in San Antonio. Sorry, I'm just not very good with the camera. But we'll have to learn if we're going to be doing this. And I think this might be cilantro. I'm not sure. I thought it was all rosemary. These look a little weird to me to be rosemary. I should have done this whole thing here before we start over. It's important that you have the right conditions in a little plant. You don't have the right conditions in some of this stuff. Yeah, well, that one looks good. Why don't we pull that out and plant it in the ground at least, or put, put it in a pot? Yeah, let's put it in a pot. What? Let's put it in a pot. Well, I can do that. That's what I was just doing. Okay. All right. Let's go check the bigger plants out. All right. Well, let's 